Hi everyone, it's Michelle Gillette with Focus TV. I just had a riveting conversation with the Reverend Canon Julian Bull, Headmaster at Campbell Hall. Please tune in, I think you'll enjoy it. community about Campbell Hall? Campbell Hall is a school where uh, increasingly we're becoming known for kids who are both smart and happy. You know, they just love going to school and at a time when so many people are talking about the stresses of high school and college admissions and, you know, increasingly competitive college admissions, uh, we've managed to develop a program that really draws out of students something deep from inside them and a, and a sense of joy in what they do. Campbell Hall has a very well-balanced program. I noticed that it is academically challenging and yet there are so many opportunities for them to de-stress. Mm -hmm. And there's also a, a very um, good concentration on creating kind human beings. Mm -hmm. Can you speak to that a bit? Yes, it's, it's something that uh, has emerged from the school's history as an Episcopal school. So it was always, we're 72 years old this year, and it was always a school that cared about the, the four R's, they said back in the day, you know, reading, writing, arithmetic, and back in that day was religion. Over time, it's evolved into caring about children becoming decent, responsible, loving human beings, which is what the mission statement talks about. It's a, it's a place where, it's a college preparatory school, so as you know from, uh, from your own experience, uh, the classes are pretty tough, but there's also a full array of arts and athletics, and then there's also high school as a fun experience and something that really draws students out in terms of their own sense of purpose or vocation, you might even say. Um, students tend to... Uh, grow up here getting a sense really of what speaks to them, what they want to do later on in the world, you know, what they enjoy, who they are as human beings. And that makes school more fun, more enjoyable. It's easier to do the hard work that's required. And I noticed there's also e even lifestyle adjustments that have been made here. Um, a late start on Wednesdays for the upperclassmen, which is lovely. All kids need more sleep. Yes. Um, there's also uh, mindfulness is taught. We have done things like follow the research that shows that adolescents need more sleep and they go to bed later. And so we asked the question, is it possible to start school later in the morning? Most schools just reflexively said, no, you can't do that. You know, you can't get the buses in later or it interferes with sports in the afternoon. We've worked that out. So we start school at 8.50, 10 to 9 in the morning and uh, even later on Wednesday mornings. We have a rotating block schedule, so the students only have four classes a day, and so they only have homework for at most four classes and probably fewer a night. So these are ways to keep the, the challenge and the rigor in a college preparatory education, but also to be really thoughtful about what works and what doesn't work with teenagers. It's because we really care a lot about kids as human beings. You know, we really want them to be healthy and happy and, and, and to lead balanced lives as much as, we, as they can. It shows. Um, Campbell Hall is also a large school in the sense that it's got, it's K through 12, over 1,100 students. Yes. And the students come from all over Los Angeles, yet it feels like a small school. How do you keep that sense of community? Community is probably the biggest buzzword here, and it is big, you know, 1,120 students, 550 students in the high school alone. But there's also a sense of intimacy that comes from uh, basically the, the students are friendly with one another and even supporting each other along the way. I feel like Campbell Hall creates this partnership with parents to create this foundation, right? And then within the parameters of kindness and responsibility, there's this foundation created, this launching point for kids you know, to go and be their own 
human beings their own having their own identity there is yeah what's most exciting to me about that Michelle is that they are it, it supports academic development so they're less right. anxious mm -hmm. they are uh, more inspired to learn because they see how it can help them achieve their goals so I know there's a, a big uh, focus also on a commitment to diversity yeah. and inclusiveness why is that so important to the conversation? We like to say that we honor diversity. We're not just teaching tolerance. We're not just teaching students to, to get along and tolerate each other, but we are teaching them to honor and really get excited about the different perspectives that they all bring to the table. Yeah, it feels like it's about embracing, yeah. really embracing differences in one another. I see that happening here. It's very touching to see it firsthand. You know, you can read about it in a brochure, yeah. But to really see it in action is, is extremely touching as a parent. And you come off as very unflappable. How did you attain that <laughs> characteristic? Uh, I'd like to know. No, that's a complete lie. No. Um, <laughs> well, uh, there's a great administrative team here that's very supportive in that. And I will also say that Campbell Hall parents are a great group. People they say are. sometimes, this is L.A., Right. This is a high, these are the titans of industry. These are some very, very high powered people, whether because it's self selective or somehow the ones who end up here want the best for their children. They, uh, they know that they're going to be ups and downs and failures and they're a little bit more willing to let their kids take risks. They support each other. They tend to support the school. Uh, they tend to want to work together and, uh, you know, there's not as much sort of the, the me-centeredness, but a lot of adults who want their children to grow up to be, again, altruistic, service-oriented. So it's a, it's a great community in that regard. Something really distinctive about Campbell Hall is the chapel program. The school has emerged over the course of 70 years as a very religiously diverse place that celebrates not only that religious diversity as well as ethnic diversity and other kinds of diversity, but also talks pretty openly about ideas of spiritual development. What is the part of your day that you cherish the most? Oh, that's a great question. Um, there are a number of different things and I try to do all of them in a given day because my days get busy and sometimes they get stressful. Uh, and when they're stressful or when I've just been, you know, at the computer for too long or too many meetings, I like to go to the chapel. So the chapels are always inspiring. They're always fun. The little kids in chapel, they sing and so they're happy, cute. they're adorable. Um, and the high school kids are just fun and, and, uh, and they speak from the heart and they're a little bit irreverent and, and I love them. Um, I, I play in and teach in the steel drum orchestra, so the music ensemble. I was a music minor in college. And uh, I have to say, just you know, metaphorically letting my hair down and going in there and playing uh, really funky <laughs> music. <laughs> is a great break in the day where I'm just a student among students or just having fun with them. Um, and then finally, like when I hear the passing periods, I hear the bell. Sometimes I'll just jump out of my desk, go downstairs, say hi to kids, you know, catch up with them. We joke about sports teams that we're following or, you know, I know that their grandmother was sick or just that human contact. And that's the kind of human touch that really is the fabric of community. And, uh, you know, I enjoy it personally, but I think it also gives me a sense of the lifeblood of the place. I really love it. What would you like your legacy to be? There are, there are forces in education that are always challenging you. Do your kids get into good enough colleges? Do your SAT scores good enough? Is this good enough? Is that good enough? I think those things are all very good. But we are becoming less and less shy about talking about the importance of spiritual moral development in its own right. And if that's so grounded that it's a no-brainer and that no one will ever turn back from that here, then that would be a great legacy.
chemical cotton. My favorite thing about it is that it's a happy place. It's a, it's a happy, dynamic place. Uh, it's a school. There's lots of learning going on, lots of interesting classes. I think you bumped into a couple of those on your, on your tour today. But I think you probably, I bet, you saw that there were happy kids yes. and happy adults. And so when I make my round, that's what you know, fires me up. That's what, that's what gets me going. That's what I love getting up for. Happiness is contagious. <laughs>